Jack Nolan with Notre Dame offensive coordinator Chip Long. So let's look at the big picture. How is this offense all coming together right now? It's coming together nicely. You know, being year two, we're able to carry a whole lot more offense, get it installed earlier. So now we're really just getting the finer details, um, getting more younger guys out there that I think can be playmakers for us and just seeing them go about their business each and every day has been really exciting to me. You know, it's a hard, competitive working group, um, well more than it was last year. So just the way they grind each and every day has been really exciting to me. And just seeing those young guys getting out there to play. And, you know, when I say young, they've been here for a couple of years. This is their first time playing and um, they're taking full advantage of their opportunities. Exactly. When you look at this group right now, those are the two things that stand out. A lot of potential, a lot of athleticism, a lot right. of skill, but few guys who have had to be the man no in doubt. the past. So how do you get them ready in time to win that first game? Just how we practice. You know, a lot of situational practices, um, try to get as much scrimmage work where those young guys are getting hit um, at a major college level, being able to take care of the ball, um, do all the little things right, and at the speed of this game and just just each and every practice you can't have an off day and that's a good thing about having a big opener you know there are no off days in fall camp so those guys have that intensity about them to to go out there and prove it each day because you're not going on that field unless you do it on the practice field what aspects of this offense right now are you really really happy about you know i think our receiver groups really come on you know a, a young man who i've challenged you know, really since the moment I got here and Chase Claypool has really just totally turned around the way he goes about his daily habits and is having a really good fall camp. Just a guy who's balled in completely to what we believe in and, and has really had a good fall camp. Miles Boykin's really taken from what he did towards the end of last year to the spring to now. Um, Chris Fink has gotten stronger in the weight room, so he's so much more explosive, um, can stay out there a whole lot longer and, and be able to defeat press. Um, our, our tight end group is still very solid. Um, you know, you got about three guys, Alize Mack, Nick Wisher, you know of, and then Cole Komet's really done a nice job. Brock Rice done a good job at, at his fullback spot. And then our young O lineman, you know, Leon Eichenberg's had a really good fall camp. You can just see the confidence in the way he loves to practice, the physicality he's bringing, and just the leadership he's starting to bring. Um, it's been really a good sight to see from him. And, and then another young guy in Josh Luck, you know, a guy who's really come on the last three days, another offensive lineman. So we have, you know, close to seven to eight guys who can play winning football for us up front. Our quarterbacks have done a great job. Their overall knowledge and just overall knowledge of football, the way we communicate, we can come off to the sideline and talk about their series where we really never could last year. It was just all about trying to get a good snap and hand it off. And um, so that, that's been good, just the knowledge and the base these guys have and, and what the center we have to go about practice each and every day and seeing them run with it has been exciting to me. When you look at your top two quarterbacks, Brandon Wimbush brings so much to the table. Counted for 30 touchdowns last year, ran for 14, ran for almost 900 yards, passed for a bunch, and he's working on a lot of stuff. Right. Is he making progress in the areas he needs to while still bringing everything he brought last year? Right. No, there's no question. The biggest area – that a lot of people, I think, is just his confidence. You know, if something bad happens, whether it's a bad throw, bad play, he's able to respond out of it, where last year it took about three or four plays to get past it. And um, just seeing that in his eyes, seeing the comfort level that both of them really have out there in the offense is, is really good to see. You know, we can win with both of them. And, uh, but just the overall confidence that Brandon is able to respond has been really exciting to me. And, um, and it, it just helps with the overall, you know, morale and, and flow of the offense. And talk about the mindset of an Ian Book who was put in some tough situations last year and came through with flying colors. He now goes in with that confidence. And it's really, Brandon's the starter right now, but it also, look, you treat them like 1A and 1B. Yeah, there's no question. You know, we can, whoever the hot hand is, and we can win with both of them. Um, the, the team rallies around each of them the same. They've all played extremely hard for the same. I think both of them won over the team the same. Um, and, you know, you just get in practice, you get caught up this and that, and you just forget about the dynamic that Brandon brings with his wheels and, and what he can do to a defense. And now Ian has gotten so much more growth in the offense. He's able to get us in and out of better plays that, you know, he really struggled with in the past. So just seeing the growth of both of them, you know, because it's a quarterback-driven offense, to, to see that has been very encouraging. Chip, as always, thank you, you for the time. Absolutely. With Notre Dame offensive coordinator Chip Long, I'm Jack Nolan, Fighting Irish Media.